Hey guys, I wanted to do a series of short videos going over an info UE, some basic concepts. I wanted to keep them like really short. So in this one, the only thing that I'm going to do is to download the template, which is ready to uh, pretty much ready to be used with the latest version of the of the plugin. Uh, I just executed this first command, and this is important to do because we want to download the plugin as well. We have to compile it, and then I will be following um, these steps. Uh, they may change in the future. Uh, hopefully, um, they will be even simpler um, once you when the plugin reach the the marketplace. Uh, you should be able to just install it from there. But until there, this is the the way to to get started on Windows. Uh, there is also support for Mac, but there are, there are not instructions. Of course, I will be uploading a video um, for Mac too. But if you want to, if you want to try it out, feel free to to join the the Discord and ask uh, any question in there. Right? So let's go. First thing we have to do, I I have it already um, downloaded here on this YouTube folder. So I can just copy paste this and then I just have to run Nimble setup, right? Let me see. I need to start uh, compiling everything. Uh, the first time it will take a while because it has to compile the plugin, um, also the PCH uh, that's created from from the real side of things, it will call the Unreal Build tool to create it, and then it will try to to compile all the different NIM projects. So it may take a while, but I want so it does uh, finish. So I can open the um, the folder here, Explore, and then going to NIM template, which is the the root of the project. I can just around this uh, new template that you play it like you would with any um, Unreal Engine project. There is also um, a command that you can execute from the plugin directory. Eventually, we will be having like a VS Code extension that will do all of this for us. Like if we want to stop the game or to run the editor or whatever we want to do. So yeah, it's loading now. Um, my main screen is the other screen. On the first run, it, it may take a while because it also needs to generate all the bindings. The bindings, you don't download them. They are auto-generated every time that uh, you start the editor. If you go to plugins that uh, Source, right, info UE, um, and then you go to Unreal, and then bindings, you will see there um, a lot of files. Um, they are usually like one file per Unreal module. Uh, you don't have to really worry about it. So the project already load, um, it's here. It has uh, this blueprint, um, which um, yeah, which is load. Uh, we are going to take a look at the code, but first we need to actually restart the editor once, and then uh, this is only for the first time again because we are loading a, a blueprint um, from a class that is not already produced on the first load, but it will be after uh, afterwards. <clears throat> Let me also open the, the source code here. So there is this uh, min for UE folder, right? If you do code dot um, in the in the path, it, it will open the min for UE folder. Um, with the game and everything, and then we have the like the engine here with our um, game load, 
and you can yeah, you can hit uh, like play. Um, well, it's a bit uh, odd because I have this uh, controlling here. Let me close these windows. <coughs> So we improve a little bit the, the aspect ratio. And when I hit play here, I can see my, my character moving around. Um, the whole code for it is in, in this uh, game.link file. Um, it already uh, has um, everything that you would expect for the first person to play. Like it, there is a game mode um, that uh, it's set on the settings, it's this name game mode that when it gets constructed, it loads this blueprint, right? I mean, I, I'm not a fan of doing um, hard path in the in the editor, but I wanted to keep it like a uh, one-to-one -one equivalent to the third-person template. Uh, we can go over it in another video, but uh, for now, yeah, this uh, will be it. Thank you.